Okay, this is part two of the video um, that we initially showed uh, the other day, um, how we brought our donated breast milk that my daughter gets. Uh, she's nine months old sailing with us. This is her first cruise. Um, my husband and I are seasoned cruisers, but first time cruising with a baby. So lots of new things for us and um, we've had, received lots of tips. So I wanted to show what we brought, what we used, what we didn't use, and things I would or would not pack. So first off, the most important thing, what a lot of people are wondering, did this Yeti cooler uh, that with dry ice that we bought the dry ice the day of the cruise in the morning, did it work? It got us to day five to keep everything froze. So um, day five, things started to thaw. So we used it, you know, once breast milk thaws, you've got 24 hours to use it and then you have to discard it. So we did unfortunately have to waste a day, but I'm, I'm very thankful because we did bring backup formula. Fingers crossed, um, my daughter will do okay with that. Uh, she doesn't do great with it, but obviously, um, you know, a fed baby is a happy baby. So it, overall, we're happy with it. It got us to the very, very end. We would do it again, obviously we'd have to, um, Royal Caribbean will not store um, breast milk in their freezers. So Yeti cooler worked. Maybe next time we'll add more dry ice. Um, let me ask my husband, how much dry ice did we pack, Will? 14 pounds. So we packed 14 pounds of dry ice. I don't know if we packed more, if it would get us um, extended. I kind of want to play with that and we're going to test it out um, in another video. Obviously not testing it with breast milk, but um, for those mamas that want to know, we will do a test for it. Um, so things that we loved, 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 we got the most billion compliments on and oohs and ahs, this right here. Get you one of these. Um, it's a like a GoPro clip, something you clip a phone for videos. Um, we clipped it with my daughter forward facing us and she watched Miss Rachel pretty much 24 seven, loved it. We are so happy we brought the fan. Another thing we're going to do because mama don't like being hot, I'm gonna buy two of those fans <laughs> so I can face one towards me and one to her when we're out at ports, just because I can. But the fan is wonderful for kids. So glad we brought it. The best thing in the world that we brought, in addition to the phone holder, is this little baby high chair. It is portable. It clips on to the um, any table pretty much. Here is the brand, look it up. It's maybe $60, the best thing. The crew had never seen it. Everyone oohed and awed over it. It fit every table, even the cloth table. I was worried it wouldn't do it. It did, it had perfect grip. So very happy we brought that. Um, what else did we not use or did we use? So, um, of course we got our hair bows, baby shoes. Brought boogie wipes just in case. She didn't need them, but very glad we did. Here's her closet over here so I can give you more detail what we did and didn't use. So at home, anytime we change in a public place, we use like those doggy poop pads. That way we can use it once, we throw it away and not putting like a changing, a dirty changing pad back so we didn't use those if we come when we come back again we're maybe taking this much just a third of what we brought because we barely used it most of the time we changed her in our cabin did not bring any use any of these because we always brought these little snack things i brought four of them this is our last one there was one i tumped out so maybe next time i just bring three but these were wonderful to have yes there's food everywhere on the ship but um you know she wants her snacks when she wants them I did bring a very large bag of baby pouches and you know stuff like that but she didn't eat, eat a single one so didn't even need it the crew or the chef can um, puree food if you need it or uh, they will just bring you sauteed vegetables and things like that other things oh wipes I think I packed three or four of these we've used one full one and the one in our diaper bag so for a seven day cruise I'd bring three just to be safe, but we didn't use all of them. Another thing I bought, we didn't use, <laughs> were these disposable placemats. She didn't use it, we fed her the whole time. Um, also, what I bought a billion of that it came with were disposable bibs. We keep her really clean when she eats, so we didn't even use them. <laughs> Maybe I'll try using them at home when we want to let her get messy, but, um, Oh, really important what people want to know. We brought a box of diapers and we just busted in to um, the second half of it. Not even the second half, like, um, so we've used one 
you know, a, a quarter of it. So we're just into the, the second piece. So definitely you don't need a box of diapers. And we change her very, very frequently. Pretty much anytime we see a blue line, we change her. Swim diapers for this sailing out of Galveston, it was cold the majority of the time, kind of chilly for at least a baby. We use one diaper, but we'll take those home and use them again. So totally would bring them, but to save space, we wouldn't pack as many. Um, into Brooklyn's room, seeing what we use. Of course, crib, perfect, so glad we brought it. So, 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 so glad we bought a mattress specifically for the pack and play. Makes it so comfortable for them and a fitted sheet specifically for a pack and play mattress. Definite must. Um, baby camera, absolutely, we're never going anywhere without it because even though our room is right across the hall, um, we wanna make sure we hear her when she wakes up. Um, how the camera was set up, we couldn't see her, but um, she's old enough to where we know she'll cry, she can make a noise, we would hear it. Another must, absolutely our hatch sound machine for Brooklyn. It makes it very familiar to her um, and she sleeps well with it. So definitely bring all those things, so glad. Um, and everything works. Um, and she's getting ready to take a nap, so sound machine is getting on. <laughs> a few other things, so glad we brought. Of course, sleep sacks. We brought two of those. I'm glad we did bring two. Um, so, you know, they could, one gets dirty, you switch to the other one. I'm very, very happy. Uh, we did bring nighttime diapers. We use those, you know, every night. And sometimes if we woke her up or if she woke up, we'd change her. So I'd bring like 10, 15 of them. You never know, accidents, of course, happen. Um, what else? We brought her little bitty toys to play with. Uh, they initially were in bought for to take in the little baby pool, but we didn't end up doing that. Another thing I'm so, so glad that we brought for the baby is this bottle warmer. And sorry, it's not focusing, but um, it's Munchkin brand bottle warmer and it's heating her breast milk up right now. Perfect to bring. So, so glad we brought this drying rack. All of these pieces here collapse and it fits in here where you can put the lid on it and it's very com compact. Of course, the baby brush won't fit there, but that's okay. Use that all the time. Um, to clean this, we brought these here. They're like pacifier wipes. So we will give this a good wipe down, rinse it off um, in between official cleans. And then I will clean it when I'm washing her bottles in the evening. Um, and I'll show you what I use to clean her bottles. And I'm so glad I brought this at home. I don't use it, but um, it's this Medela quick, cream, uh, quick, quick Clean Breast Milk Removable Soap. So that has been awesome. Um, I soaked the things in there for like five minutes per the instructions and used that. iPad has been great for Miss Rachel on her in quote big screen. <laughs> Super glad we brought. Here's the part to the baby monitor where we can hear her. And of course, disclaimer, we never were out of the cabin. We did not use that to put her down and uh, leave the cabin with her. Always were here. It was just nice if we wanted to go out on our balcony while she was asleep we can still hear her. Um, we always, when we're home, bring this cooler. It's another Yeti cooler. We are huge Yeti fans. Um, we live in Texas and in the hottest part of the summer, I trust this to keep it in our car, in the hot car with um, Yeti ice and I don't have to worry about it um, not keeping cool. So when we are thawing the breast milk or keeping ready-made bottles for the 24 hours, we'll put them in this cooler here just to keep it cold. Uh, we do have a refrigerator. I like this more, it's just a little bit colder and um, there's drinks in the other fridge, which is right there. So any other big things? Oh, <laughs> we blew this up. We brought this from home to put some water in and let her swim on our balcony, but um, we ended up not using it for that. We just let her plate in it. She loves it. I think we're gonna deflate it and bring it back home with us. Um, I intended not to do it because it was gonna be wet and have all the just water in it, but we're totally bringing it. Um, the balloons, uh, so if you didn't watch our first video, um, this is a two bedroom aqua theater suite and um, it comes with a royal genie. So uh, our genie very sweetly uh, decorated for Will's birthday. Um, we're, it's his official birthday is in a few weeks, but we of course are close enough. So we wanted to celebrate it last night. Um, Brooklyn did so, so, so amazingly well on this cruise. Um, I'll, I guess I'll use the word unfortunately. She did not, we didn't get to utilize, um, what is it called? Oh, Adventure Ocean, the baby nursery. Um, we tried to put her to sleep the first night, like to let her, 
sleep there like it was bedtime so we figured we'd take her at bedtime and she would sleep but she has a very very strict routine where you know change the diaper sleep sack um turn the lights off put the sound machine on and she's out cold we use the taking care of babies sleeping um methods and it did not work for the adventure ocean um there were other kids in there kind of being loud and having fun which is totally okay and uh, she just couldn't sleep so they give you a ship phone if you drop your baby off and we got called <laughs> less than an hour yeah 30 minutes to pick her up so uh, we did try it one other time um, after she woke up from a nap and yeah she did really well there so we might when she wakes up today drop her off so mommy and daddy can go to the casino yeah. <laughs> we were almost um, last time. yeah but um any other things we can think of um what we brought or that we used um anything of course we way overpacked for clothes um anything else brooklyn girl that's all i can think of well I hope everyone else has a great cruise and um, it, you know, it's totally different cruising with the baby. We're not getting to stay out late at night and <laughs> go to the casinos. We missed the comedy club because we couldn't utilize uh, the Adventure Ocean Nursery. But next time we sail, we do have grandparents booked on all of our future sailings. So I will do a, another video in October how that goes with grandparents, uh, do's and don'ts, and just things we liked and didn't like. Of course, we're gonna love it. Yeah, well, yeah, she'll be 18 months. Yeah, we're going this October with her. I'm taking my mom, and then her next cruise will be with Will's parents. So, um, thank you guys, and uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Hope you all have a wonderful cruise and trips. Thanks.